we never saw the alligator out of the water, only his eyes. Um, and we thought probably early on that we had an eight to 10 foot alligator, just guessing, you know, because we, we have no experience doing this. Um, my, like I said earlier, my brother-in-law had seen a glimpse of, of its back at one point when, he, when it turned, when he was close to the boat, and he had a better idea than the rest of us that it was a bigger alligator. Um, once we got to the lily pads, I think everybody was kind of thinking we had a, not a, just a nice gator, but a really nice gator. Um, never could we have dreamed, never could we have dreamed that we had an alligator this large. I don't think even experts thought there was one, of the, one this large out in the wild. I had a lot of people say that they thought a thousand pounds, but I thought they were really exaggerating, you know. But um, when they told me how much it weighed, I just, I, matter of fact, tears actually welled up in my eyes because I just could not believe that we had actually harvested an alligator that even come close to a thousand pounds, much less went over it. There was a lot of emotions throughout the night, um, and, and there were some tears, lots of prayers um, at one point um, through the night, but at this point to find out that this alligator was as large as it was, that it, it beat it in, in length, but the weight alone just totally destroyed the state record that was already in place. It's hard um, for us to wrap our mind around it potentially being a world record because we were, we're from a real small community and this particular, the alligator was harvested near a real small community. Um, and the reaction as far as locally has been really, really great for our little community. It's probably uh, estimated about 1,500, so it's a really small area. But as far as the reactions, we've had a lot, of, a lot of positive, but we've also had a lot of negative. And I think the negative is coming from the people that do not understand our way of life where we live. Hunting alligators in Alabama is a lot different than what people see on TV with your swamp people and different things. In Louisiana and Alabama are two totally different areas to hunt alligators. They've protected the alligators in our state. We were actually one of the first states to ever protect alligators. They've protected them for so long that the population is really getting, it's not so far out of control yet, but they're trying to prevent that by issuing the small amount of tags each year for only a few nights throughout the year. It's not like it's a 30 day or 60 day cycle. It's only six nights this particular year that only 50 people, 50 tags are issued within this large area in our district. There's no way we could have comprehended what we had on the end of our lines. This alligator was extremely large and he had no fear of anybody, so he never really shown himself. And I, if we had known what we had, we might would have made a different decision. It's not that we went out, we didn't go out trophy hunting, we lucked up and got a trophy. Um, we might would have made a different decision had we known the what we had, but we, we, we didn't know until after it was dead. He's a beautiful, beautiful animal, and we do, we do appreciate these things, although people don't think we do. We had a lot of feedback off the internet and some people would say that I put my kids in danger. I never felt like I put my kids in danger. Um, I would never do that to them. They are very experienced in the outdoors. They've been in the outdoors ever since they were born. Uh, hog hunting, four wheeler riding, off roading all the time. Uh, I never felt like I put my kids in danger. When Mandy got the tag, I was the first one to say, I want to go. And I went and got my hunter's education and I went and made sure I had my hunting license just so I could go and my parents didn't have any say so in whether I was going or not. I made it where I was going and nobody was going to stop me. But my parents never put me in danger and I just would really appreciate if that was stopped with the comments on that. As far as what we're going to do with the alligator, we're going to uh we're gonna keep, how, harvest the meat and, and plan on eating it. I've never had alligator before, um, so I'm not real sure if I'll even like it. Um, but we do plan on uh, um, saving as much of the meat as possible. There's a lot of uh, churches in the area that do the wild game suppers and things like that. And, and we're really, really um, considering letting the most of the meat be uh, donated to those kind of uh, organizations and things like that. He probably will be mounted and, and let the public be able to enjoy the enormity of the particular animal. We will definitely apply for another tag. Um, 
this year, this particular year, I think my husband and I were the only two that applied for a tag. Um, but I, I think I think everybody that's a licensed hunter next year will apply for a tag. However, we do not have any intentions of hooking on to one quite this large next time.